Learning is really a lifelong journey, and when students come to post-secondary, they're incredibly diverse. They have a wide range of strengths and weaknesses, and UDL is really about how to make that learning journey tractable for as many of those learners as possible. I think UDL is important because of uh, the variability that we have across learners. We often think about individuals with disabilities as individuals at the margins and that if we can develop or create uh, learning environments for those individuals at either end of the bell curve, we go a long way towards addressing the needs of everyone else in between. We've seen a, an enormous growth in interest in using UDL, ranging from individual faculty members wanting to use it, to whole departments, to sometimes whole institutions wanting to adopt it as an approach to really better serving the broad range of students that are on campus. It, it is not about faculty being the experts or administrators being the experts, but the ethos of we're all in this together. In a UDL classroom, I felt like I wasn't, you know, feeling bad because, you know, I didn't participate like another student. I was, I was more so looking at myself and trying to be my best learner. I think this has really made my learning deeper. It's different to me than lecture-based courses where I sort of hear information, think it's really interesting, but then end up forgetting it down the line. UDL is really critical for helping faculty feel like they can teach all students because it's about designing for all students from the outset. UDL is really about bringing flexibility and options into the environment by design so that students will have the resources that they need um, to make learning tractable in post-secondary environments.